ever dreamt of creating your own AI app without touching a single line of code. Today, that dream is possible. You can now create your own AI app without coding knowledge and even sell them to earn revenue through a subscription model. Stay with me for the entire video and we will go through each step as to how one can achieve this. All this is possible thanks to Mind Studio. Whether you want to create a customer service chatbot for your website or business, or maybe just talk to your PDF instead of reading it, or simply create an AI character of your favorite personality so that you can chat with it. All this is possible with Mind Studio, which is very straightforward and easy to use. And the best part is you can use most of its features for free. Let's jump right in. Please hit the link below to get to the website. So once you click on the link below, you'll come to the website of Mind Studio and you'll see this interface. Just come here and click on sign in to get started and create your free account using your email ID or your Google account. So once your account is created, you'll see this interface. So you can come here and click on Explore Showcase, which will take you through all the existing AI apps created by other people. Some are free and some are paid. Some of them are really nice and they are here. And if you come here on the left, you can see that all of these apps are divided category wise from business, decision making, content tracking, job seekers, AI co-pilots, book AIs, coding assistants. They have a lot of variety. So you can go through all of this or you can simply create your own AI. So I'll come here on the left and click on create AI. So here you have the option of coming here and clicking on create AI to create your own AI from scratch. Or we can use one of their ready-made templates. So I'll just come here and click on templates to make our job easier. And here you have all of these templates available. So for uh, today's example video, let's go ahead and create a support agent. So I'll come here and click on this, which will, which will take me to the template model of creating an AI based support agent, which can be later embedded on my website. So I'll come here and click on start. You can either preview this first or you can straight away start. So I'll click on start from this template. So then you'll see this interface. This is divided into three parts. The left is where all the data functions are. The center is where you'll see all the prompt commands and the right is where the prompts are tested out. This is just for our information and it's very easy to follow. And uh, so let's say we'll try and create a support agent for a Tesla motor car. So first I'll come here on the left and here I'll click on this data sources. Then I'll come here and click on this plus button and I'll upload the manual of a Tesla car since we are creating the support agent for a Tesla motor car. While the manual is getting uploaded, I can just come here and name this Tesla motor car. Optional description, Tesla motor car manual. So once the manual is uploaded, we can come here. And there's another uh, manual of another car pre-uploaded since this was a template. So I'll just go and delete this. I'll just come here, I'll right click on this and I'll delete this. So so here my data source has been uploaded so that my AI can refer to this and I'll come here and I'll click on main flow. So this will bring me to the main prompt instruction section. So here what you see in green are the instructions that we need to follow to create the AI bot. So here all the instructions are written. You can go through them clearly. So the only thing it is asking us here to do is replace the text which is in bold as shown here. So I'll go down here, replace this word industry with Tesla car and I'll leave everything else as is. So here it also mentions that upload any relevant document. If you upload a data source for a product or service, make sure to reference the data source in the message rules. And I've also deleted the previous template data source. So this is this is done. And then come here and click on automations. This shows that how they have created this bot. So we'll try and cover this in the upcoming future videos where we'll see how we can create an AI bot from scratch. After this, I'll come here and click on model settings. And here I can still, I'll come here and click on this and you can select from all the available models. So I'll stick to Claude 2 because it's very good for these kind of uh, bots. And come here and look at the temperature, which indicates the variability in the response. Closer to one will indicate a more randomized response and closer to zero will indicate more similar responses. So I'll let, let this be at 0 0.5. Max response size is limited to 600 words. That's fine. So all of this looks good. Yeah, so once all of this is done, I'll come back here and click on functions. Nothing needs to be done. I'll click on user inputs, click on main flow. So once all of this is done, I'll just come here and click on this part here, which says support agent remix. So here you can name your AI bot. 
the name it is tesla car chatbot support here you can give a short description the code chatbot for tesla car and we can let all of the other details remain as is have the option of uh, uploading your icon so one could upload the icon of the tesla car a social sharing image a preview gallery and a preview video as well to explain how the bot works then come here and click on landing page and if you enable this this landing page is here and you can write a short description here to explain what kind of a ai app is there and it will be like a mini sales pitch for your bot if you plan to sell this then come here and click on style and branding now i can also customize this further but i'll need to upgrade my plan so currently i'm on the free plan then come here and click on sharing i'll make the visibility public remixing okay allowed password protect so if you want to protect it using a password i'll enable this and come here and click on embedding again again once again i need to upgrade my plan so this will allow me to embed this app on my website which is pretty cool then i'll come here and click on pricing so right now i cannot sell this app because i need to be on their paid plan but uh, if i am really confident of what i have made it might be worth my while to upgrade myself to their paid plan and possibly sell my app in a recurring revenue model and come here and click on billing so yeah this shows the plan i am on so yes once all of this is done you have the option of coming here and seeing the preview or you can straight away go and publish so let's publish it so here my bot is ready let's check it out i'll click on open so it says what can i help you with today so let's try a random test question my head headlights are flashing non stop what shall i do let's wait for the bot to respond so check this out i understand how frustrating it might be to have your flat headlights flashing non stop that would certainly be an annoying issue let's see if we can get to the bottom of what's happening can you provide me with more details do they flash at random times cool so this seems pretty nice i have lost my tesla car keys how can i open my car and access it so wow this one seems pretty nice i just gave it a problem that i have lost my tesla car keys how can i open my car and access it so here first it empathizes with me saying that it's sorry for my condition and then it's gone ahead and given me a few options which explain that i could access the car using their mobile app and if that doesn't work i can call up the tesla roadside assistance so these responses are pretty good and it seems as if the bot is accessing the manual i had uploaded to answer my basic queries so today's video was just to give a basic overview as to how one can create your own ai bot and uh, i'll try and make other videos very soon where we'll cover how we can create an ai bot right from scratch let's try and create another one i'll once again click on templates this time let's create a book ai so i'll click on book ai i'll click on start from this template so once again here we are already familiar with the format here in the left is the data control center in the center is the prompt center and in the right is the portion where one tests the prompts so once again first i'll come here and click on data source i'll come here and click on plus so that i can upload my book i'll upload the book influence influence i'll write the description master the art of persuasion and i'll upload the book this is one book that i have reread over and over and over and again since uh, it was since it was recommended by the late and great mr charlie munger who says that uh, persuasion is possibly the most important skill one can acquire in their lifetime and this book is an excellent encyclopedia of sorts on learning this skill any number of times you read this book it's less i feel to learn this art of persuasion is absolutely brilliant so let's em upload this book and go ahead and create this book ai also so here my book is uploaded i'll go ahead and delete the sample book once again i'll click on the sample book i'll click on right click and i'll delete it so that the bot does not reference this book and it only sticks to my book here the sample book has been deleted and uh, the book i have uploaded is being finalized by this bot so here it's done now once again i'll go and click on main flow so i'll follow the instructions given here replace anything in bold so i'll replace the first part assistance is an instance of the book influence assistant the assistant responds in the first person as an influence expert so yeah i have put in all this data 
I'll go once again go and click on automation. I'll not mess with this. The model settings I'll stick to plot two. I'll let the temperature and max response size remain as default. Then I'll go and click on this. I'll rename this influence bot short description. Master the art of persuasion. I'll just skip all this for the second example because we've already gone through all this and I'll go ahead and click on publish. So my bot is ready. So let's go ahead and ask something. I'll write, can you teach me the first and super log influence in brief? I'll click on enter. Let's see the response. The first principle of influence is this the first prince, the first principle of influence discussed is reciprocity, the feeling of obligation to give back to someone who has done something for you. The book notes that the rule of reciprocation is powerful, is a powerful factor in human relations. When someone does something nice for us, we feel compelled to return the favor in some way. Pretty cool, right? Now let's go ahead go ahead and ask it something else. Can you list all the principles in in a short bullet point format? And here it is. I just went ahead and wrote, can you list all the principles in a short bullet point format? And this bot has gone ahead and given me a short, concise summary of all the principles of influence in this short bullet point format. Reciprocity, commitment and consistency, social proof, liking, authority, scarcity. Brilliant, pretty nice, right? So this could be a pretty cool way to talk to any book and understand key insights and principles from the book without having to read the whole book. What do you guys think? I really love this. Let's ask a fun question. How long will it take me to become a master of influence? Okay, I guess that was a bit too much. See you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed this video, you will certainly enjoy this video which is going to come up here on the screen where we have discussed a cool AI tool using which you can create full-blown YouTube videos and other short form videos from a single text prompt. If you don't have time right now, please save this for later as no video is more important than your time. I will continue to strive to make more such videos in our shared journey to see how we can leverage the power of AI for our growth and greater good. Thank you and see you in the next video.